Coach, we're heading into week three. Uh, you started the season 2-0. and Picked up a big win last Saturday. Get some confidence for your team and um, get your program continuing heading in the right direction. A 56-7 win over Buena Vista. Talk about team your team's play thus far, um, what they showcased after uh, last week's win. I think, uh, you know, we opened up at, at Wartburg and that was a huge win for us and, and really uh, two, two solid football teams. Uh, Buena Vista kind of getting, they have a tough schedule, a tough early schedule, and, and away they had to, they were up at Concordia Moorhead, who's a physical team. We're pretty physical, and so um, they had a t so we kind of caught them at a good time, and that really happens in matchups, but we really want to get out of some of those, that thought process, and just try to be great. We want to be every single day, we're talking about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday practices, all that, kind of be the same uh, team all the time, and just to be physical. Uh, passionate about uh, doing well, about being great, about the game and about one another. And, and those things will kind of just add toward toward a victory for us. Well, sir, uh, you saw some great leadership in that game, and you've seen it th thus far. Um, seems like your offense seemed to really click last Saturday along with your defense. Um, just talk about the progression of you know, your sophomore quarterback, Eric, and uh, he was nearly flawless uh, on the game, 14-16. And uh, obviously, great connection with his receivers. Yeah, Eric is. Uh, Eric has been. He's kind of. We know that he's good, and he. But he's very calm. So even sure. in practice, there's not a. If he does something wrong or screws something up, he, it, it, there's not like you know a, a big, uh, big deal made about it. But also, when he does well, it's not a big surprise either. So his poise has been fantastic. He's very directed. He. Uh, He's a good leader, and, and one of the best things about leader, the guys just like him, and so we kind of rally around each other, and I'm kind of feeling like we've got a team that's really directed, but they're they're not super emotional, which is which is great, you know. And so there's a kind of a levelness uh, and a pretty high expectation, and we just want to be, we kind of want to be in our everyday life and in our football, we want to be the same every day, and, and kind of hold one another accountable toward great things, and uh, you know, not be up and down. And so he's a great he's a great leader for us on offense. Our defense is ridiculous. Our defense uh, flies around, and, and it's kind of funny because you talk, they look so fast, they are fast. We built it that way. Um, but the great part is our coaches do a fantastic job of teaching, and then our guys are obedient. And that's something that isn't, you know, people don't talk about that, but it is huge because our guys are in the right place all the time. Therefore, it feels like to the other team that we have more than 11 guys. Yeah. Well, something you mentioned earlier was just the fact that your routine stays the same each week. You're constantly looking to improve, putting in the time Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm sure it doesn't change this week as you open up a Minnesota intercollegiate play against Carleton Saturday. Um, they're coming into the, the game undefeated. Um, just talk about what you're hoping to see, what you're expecting from the Knights, but also from your team as you open up Mayak play. As we watch uh, film on on the on Carlton, they play really hard, and they always have. It's kind of a there's a character issue there, and there's a the piece to those guys. They're not the deepest team all the time, as far as having numbers and whatnot. But they really play hard. They play us well. Uh, we know that. We kind of don't care really about who we're playing. We really want to get to that next opponent and what we're gonna do. We do care about their schemes and stuff. We have to stop in yeah. places we can exploit them, but. Um, they are, they're a team that plays really hard. They'll be confident right now. They've had two games where they've been down, came back to win it. Um, they've got great coaches. And so it's going to be a, it's going to be a good battle, and it's a conference uh, game. And you kind of throw this stuff out the window because there's, you know, everybody knows each other so well, and, yeah. and different people play different people well. So rankings and all that mm -hmm. stuff really is always thrown out the window, but this time especially. Well, we'll, we'll see what happens, but Saturday at 1 o'clock, the second game of the season at Royal Stadium, and uh, looking forward to it. Can't wait.